A few days ago, Mr. Israel Bruner found on the river shore a porter bottle tightly corked, which contained the following written with a lead pencil. Tired of this world, I take this method to shuffle off this mortal coil upon this lonely island a few miles below this town. If this be ever found, it will be known that my body is in the Susquehanna River. Dentist. I don't think I would have ever imagined that I had a dentist in my family. Um, under with whom residing, it's left, it's blank. So it seems like he was single. And I mean, if he was a dentist by the time he was in his early 20s, he was probably a very enterprising young man. Well, Steve, you have any luck? Uh, yeah, I found uh, there's a Ralph Montgomery. He was uh, single, enlisted as a dentist. Very well respected in the, the community. Yeah. In the 1850s, dentistry was a growing profession, and men like Ralph Montgomery learned the trade by apprenticing with established dentists. Much like today, dentists used anesthetics to render their patients unconscious while performing painful tooth extractions. But at that time, dentists did not have a deep understanding of how to administer anesthesia, and its use sometimes resulted in death. Because anesthesia made patients vulnerable, they sought out dentists that they deemed trustworthy. Without a good reputation, a dentist like Ralph Montgomery could not build a lucrative practice. I took a look at the census records, and I did find something. What did you find? This here is the 1860 US Federal Census population schedule. All right, so here's an RB Montgomery, Profession grocer in 1860. I wonder, so he either decided that dentistry was not for him, <laughs> or he did such a terrible job that uh, he, was, he was run out of the business. And see, the individuals listed below will be those living in his household at the time. Most likely it will be his wife and then the children. Margaret, that's odd. Why, I don't understand why uh, who this who this Margaret was. He seems to have had another family before the family he had with Julia. I can't believe what I'm reading. According to the census, around 10 years before my great-grandmother Jane was born, her father, Ralph, had a first wife and two children. I had absolutely no idea he had another family. What a story is unfolding here. Yeah. What would cause somebody to stop being a dentist? You know, something must have happened. Mm -hmm. And what happened to his first family? Because um, I know that this was not the family that shows up later. Did he leave them? Did he abandon them? There's another mystery there. The next step I would take is to go through more of the Northumberland County records. Mm -hmm. uh, court records, or newspaper accounts. We have a lot more there's searching a lot, to there's do. There's a lot of uh, searching, yes. There's a lot of questions. Each day I seem to get answers, but that also poses new questions. He's not a dentist anymore. What went wrong? And what happened to his first family? Today I'm back at the State Archives. Aaron suggested that I search the Pennsylvania Daily Telegraph in 1860, when Ralph lived in Milton, and he's going to look through the court records. I know that by 1860, he was already listed as a grocer in the census. But I'm wondering if earlier in that year, there's an article in the paper that would explain why he stopped being a dentist. And if I don't find it in that year, I'll just work my way back. Very, very small print. Nothing there. Now I am on November 28th. Okay, here is a Ralph Montgomery. And it says here, supposed suicidal. Well, I was talking about uh, going down dark roads and this certainly seems like one. Steve Buscemi is on a mission to find out more about his mother's family. He is in Pennsylvania, where he just discovered a disturbing newspaper article linking his great-great-grandfather to a suicide attempt. Supposed suicide. 
A few days ago, Mr. Israel Bruner found on the river shore a porter bottle, tightly corked, which contained the following written with a lead pencil. Tired of this world, I take this method to shuffle off this mortal coil upon this lonely island a few miles below this town. If this be ever found, it will be known that my body is in the Susquehanna River. Weep not for me, my friends, as I have gone to a better world. Signed, Ralph Montgomery. My great-great-grandfather was so troubled by something that he, at least he wanted to take his own life, and I know by this time he had a wife and two kids. I mean, I know that he survived and ended up having another family whose daughter is my great-grandmother Jane. Her daughter, Amanda, my grandmother, she did take her life. It's upsetting. Ralph thinks that suicide is the only way out. Why would he even want to commit suicide? I'm meeting Aaron here on the shores of the Susquehanna River to see if he's located anything else to help me understand Ralph's mindset. Well, I found something. What is this that I'm looking at? It's the, the grand... The grand... Inquest. Inquest of the... Of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Of Pennsylvania present that Ralph Montgomery and John Mc, McMutry, mm -hmm. an assault did make, did beat, wound, and, and ill treat. Ill treat and other wrongs to the said Samuel Rule, did to the great damage of him. So, what this is basically saying is that in 18. 57, Ralph Montgomery and this other guy, John, um, they, they beat this guy up, this uh, Samuel Rule. Yeah, basically. And um, by 1860, he, was, he stopped be, you know, being a dentist. And so I'm thinking maybe something like this could have put a damper on his business. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Definitely, yeah. He could have lost standing in the eyes of the community for right. something, depending on how bad this assault was. So this does not bode well for Ralph Montgomery. Now, there is a second document I did yeah. find. This is a docket entry for the same case. Charge, assault, and battery, November 27th, 1859. The prosecutor agrees to withdraw the suit. So the charges were dropped. Yeah, two years later. Although he was cleared, uh, the damage was done. Then that brings me to this note that was found. He throws this bottle into the river from Maybe from Maybe up here. From up there, yeah. And then decides uh, not to jump in himself. Second thoughts. And maybe he thinks, well, I'll just go back to my family and hopefully no one will find this note. Mm -hmm. But then months later, it's found and not only found, but printed in the newspaper. Yeah. So now everybody knows that he was contemplating suicide. And so I imagine back in that time, suicide would really be looked at so unfavorably. I mean, the, it's not like today where you would get, you would get help. Mm -hmm. And he'd be ostracized probably uh, by the town. Yeah, and he, he disappears from the tax records by 1861, so. And so by 1861, he's, he's gone. gone from Milton. Correct. Wow. There's certainly something mysterious about Ralph. He definitely had dark thoughts, that's for sure. This is sort of bothering me now. He was this young, ambitious guy, and then his circumstances changed, and he disappeared. Where did he go from here? In 1861, this was the start of the Civil War, so I guess I could check army records to see if he was in the Union Army. Well, here we go. U.S. Civil War soldiers, Ralph B. Montgomery, Pennsylvania. And there he is, beside Union, 91st Pennsylvania Infantry, Company F. He didn't just up and leave town. 
he joined the Civil War. This is pretty amazing.